The Battle of Lenato was fought on 3 and 4 August 1796 between the French Army of Italy under General Napoleon Bonaparte and a corps-sized Austrian column led by Lieutenant General Peter Kwastanovich. A week of hard-fought actions that began on 29 July and ended on 4 August resulted in the retreat of Kwastanovich's badly mauled force. The elimination of Kwastanovich's threat allowed Bonaparte to concentrate against and defeat the main Austrian army at the Battle of Castiglione on 5 August. Lenato del Garda is located near the SP 668 highway and the Brescia Padua section of Autostrada A4 to the southwest of Lake Garda. On 29 July, the Austrians advanced out of the Alps to capture the towns of Gavardo and Salo on the west side of Lake Garda. The Austrians followed up this success by surprising and seizing the French base at Brescia on 30 July. An Austrian brigade captured Lenato del Garda on 31 but was ejected from the town by a French counterattack after tough fighting. Also on 31, a French division briefly recaptured Salo, rescued a small band of compatriots, and fell back. This series of combats and other battles east of Lake Garda compelled Bonaparte to raise the siege of Mantua. Leaving only one division to observe the main Austrian army to the east, Bonaparte assembled overwhelming force and recaptured Brescia on 1 August. Kwastanovich regrouped around Gavardo on 2 August, while ordering an attack by several columns for the next day. On 3 August, one of the Austrian columns defeated a French brigade and captured Lenato for the second time. However, the French also attacked that day, capturing Salo and nearly taking Gavardo. With most of the Austrian forces placed on the defensive, Bonaparte massed against the solitary brigade in Lenato and crushed it. This disaster caused Kwastanovich to order a retreat on 4 August. In a final calamity, one withdrawing Austrian column was cut off and captured. <laughs> <laughs> Background At the end of July an Austrian army set out from Trento with the purpose of relieving the besieged fortress of Mantua. While the main army under Field Marshal Dagobert von Wormser drove south down the upper Adige River valley to the east of Lake Garda, the right column under Kwastanovich struck on the west side of Lake Garda. This 18,000-strong corps consisted of four mixed cavalry and infantry brigades led by General Majors Peter Karl Ott von Batorkes, Heinrich XV, Prince of Rusplauen, Joseph Oxke von Oskko, and Johann Rudolf Spork. The right column also included two advanced guards, led by Oberst's colonels Franz Joseph, Marquis de Lusignan and Johann von Klenau. Bonaparte did not believe that major Austrian forces were capable of operating in the mountains west of Lake Garda. Consequently, only General of Division Pierre-François Serre's 4,500-man division defended the area, with garrisons in Salo on the western shore of the lake, Gavardo on the Chiesi River west of Salo, and Desenzano del Garda at the southwestern corner of the lake. The French held Brescia with only three companies of infantry. Operations See Castiglione 1796 Campaign Order of Battle for a detailed list of French and Austrian units. West of Lake Garda On 29 July, Ott's brigade attacked Salo while Oxke's brigade moved against Gavardo. General of Brigade Jean Baptiste Dominique Ruska was warned by a village curate of Austrian descent, but chose to disregard the information. Consequently, the Austrians took Serre's division by surprise. The French general withdrew to Desenzano after a stiff fight in which 500 Frenchmen and two cannons were captured. At Salo, General of Brigade Jean Joseph Guiu and 400 men took refuge in the Palazzo Martinengo where they were blockaded by Oxke's soldiers. Receiving a report that Brescia lay open to attack, Klenau advanced in the night with two squadrons of the Wormser Husser Regiment No. 30, one battalion of Devon's Infantry Regiment IR No. 37, and one company of the Mahony Jaegers. The next morning, under cover of fog, he seized the city in a coup de main. The Austrians captured 600 to 700 able-bodied soldiers plus 2,000 more in the hospital. Among the prisoners were Colonels Jean Lanz, Joachim Murat and François-Étienne de Kellermann. Kwastanovich soon arrived at Brescia with the brigades of Rus and Spork. 
At the same time, Ott's brigade advanced south from Salo and Gavardo to reach Ponte San Marco, where the Brescia Verona Highway crosses the Chiesi just west of Lenato. Oxke's troops besieged the French soldiers trapped in Salo. That night, Bonaparte determined to give up the siege of Mantua and concentrate his main strength against Kwastanovich while subsidiary forces held Wormser at bay. First Battle of Lenato On 31 July Ott's brigade at San Marco advanced to the east on Lenato. The Austrian general led two battalions of the Kuhl Infantry Regiment NR, 10, four companies of the Johann Jelacic Infantry Regiment NR, 53, two companies of the Likaner Grenz Infantry Regiment NR, 60, and one squadron of the Erdadi Husser Regiment NR, 11. The initial attack flushed part of General of Division Hyacinth François Joseph Despinoy's division out of Lenato. As the Hussars chased the fugitives to the east, they were repulsed by two waiting French artillery batteries. General of Division André Massena with General of Brigade Claude Dallemain's brigade and Despinoy with Generals of Brigade Nicolas Bertin's and Jean Cervani's brigades then counterattacked the town. In a tough four-hour fight, the French drove Ott's outnumbered soldiers out of Lenato and pushed them back to San Marco, leaving Oberst Lieutenant Anton Vogel and two battalions to hold Brescia. Kwastanovich advanced with Rus, Spork, Klenau, and Lusignan from Brescia to the southeast. He reached Montichari, south of Lenato, in mid-morning and spent most of the day there. That evening, he returned to San Marco to join Ott, leaving Klenau in Montichari. Also on 31 July, Saray marched to Salo and defeated Oxke in a pitched battle. The Austrians retreated to Gavardo. Having rescued Guiu and his men, Saray returned to Desenzano, where he rendezvoused with Massena and Despinoy. <laughs> 1 and 2 August On 1 August, Bonaparte assembled 12,000 men under generals of Division Pierre Augereau and Charles Edward Jennings de Colmaine and moved northwest from Goito toward Brescia, pushing Klenau's weak force before him. Shaken by his setbacks at Lenato and Salo, Kwastanovich ordered all of his troops north to Gavardo. Bonaparte recaptured Brescia without opposition, and was soon joined there by Massena and Despinoy. Klenau moved northeast toward Gavardo to join Kwastanovich. Vogel retreated to Kano in the mountains. On 2 August, Kwastanovich regrouped at Gavardo and sent Oxke's brigade to reoccupy Salo. With Brescia now secure, Bonaparte ordered Massena to San Marco, while Augaro and Kilmaine marched back to Montichari. Despinoy held Rosato and Brescia where he was joined by a demi-brigade from Milan. Bonaparte directed Guiu, who replaced the injured Saray, to march from Lenato to retake Salo the next day. Forces under Despinoy from Brescia and Dalamain from Lenato were sent to attack Gavardo. <inaudible> <inaudible> Battle, 3 <the> August Lenato <inaudible> 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 During the night, Oxke at Salo started south along the lake road. Guiu marched north on an obscure lane, completely missing Oxke, who reached Lenato's outskirts via Desenzano. Keeping Spork's brigade to hold Gavardo, Kwastanovich sent Ott and Rus south on 3 August. Oxke's brigade attacked Lenato at dawn, defeated BG Jean Pijan's brigade, and captured its commander. Massena, whose division lay between San Marco and Lenato, counterattacked the Austrians from the west at midday. Bonaparte directed the battle. Assaulted by the brigades of Pigeon, now led by Colonel Jean Andosh Junot, on the north, BG Claude Victor and BG Antoine Rampon in the center, and BG Jean Lorset on the south, Oxke's outnumbered men were driven from Lenato and pursued toward Desenzano. But Junot's men, plus the guides and the 15th Dragoons, captured Desenzano first, freeing 150 French prisoners from Pigeon's morning fight. Hemmed in by his enemies, Oxke surrendered with the rump of his brigade. The rest scattered across the countryside. During the fighting in Desenzano, Junot suffered severe saber cuts on his head from Austrian cavalrymen. Topic: <laughs> Pate 1. 
Moving from Rosato, Despinoy attacked Ott piecemeal and was repulsed. After some fighting, the French general withdrew toward Brescia. Doggedly, Dallemain moved around Ott's east flank and even reached Gavardo twice, but each time the Austrians drove him back. Dallemain retreated to Brescia, where he reported sick. Casualties and other details of these fights are unknown. Because of the French attacks, Ott did not advance farther south than Paitwan, south of Gavardo. At some time during the day, Klenau reinforced Ott. Rus was sent cross-country to establish contact with Oxke. Desenzano With his brigade of 1,800 men, Rus soon appeared at Desenzano, recaptured the town, and rescued a number of prisoners from Oxke's command. After learning the fate of Oxke's brigade and finding that Masséna's victorious division was closing in on him, Rus beat a hasty retreat back to Gavardo, harassed by the French. He lost a number of prisoners on his retreat. Others were rescued by Major Gustav Mahlkamp's small Austrian flotilla on the lake. Salo Meanwhile, Guiu reached Salo, found it unoccupied, and turned west to Menace Gavardo. The French soon came upon and captured Kwasdanovich's artillery park. But Spork counterattacked and recaptured the guns. The day ended with Spork holding the heights west of Salo while the French controlled the town. That evening, Kwasdanovich ordered Ott to join him on the heights. Rus turned up with his brigade during the night with the tidings of Oxke's disaster. A council of war determined to retreat. Having heard nothing from Wormser, Kwastanovich hoped to rejoin his colleague by marching around the north end of Lake Garda. Castiglione On the morning of 3 August, Wormser's 4,000-man advance guard under GM Anton Lipthe lay 8 km to the south of Lenato near Castiglione della Stiviere. The Austrian commander planned to move to Kwasdanovich's help, but the French pre-empted him. Augaro launched an enveloping attack on Lipthe with 11,000 soldiers. Despite being greatly outnumbered, Lipthe put up a terrific fight, giving ground only grudgingly. He was, however, forced to abandon Castiglione and fall back southeast toward Solferina. Lipthay's stubborn defense allowed Wormser time to concentrate his forces. GM Anton Schubers marched to the sound of the guns and counterattacked Algaro's left flank near Solferina. FML Paul Davidovich formed his division in support. By the end of the day, Wormser had the bulk of his 20,000 soldiers on hand. French losses are not known, but B.G. Marshal Barron was killed, B.G. Jean Robert was wounded, and great losses had been suffered by both sides. The Austrians lost about 1,000 casualties, including G.M. Franz Nicoletti wounded. <laughs> <laughs> Battle, 4 August Kwasdanovich issued orders to retreat north toward Lake Idro at 2 a.m. In the confusion, one Austrian column found itself cut off from the rest of the corps and made a desperate march to the southeast to reach Wormser. The Austrians marched into Lenato early in the morning, nearly capturing Bonaparte. The French army commander, with only 1,200 soldiers on hand, bluffed his enemies into giving up. Oberst Nor surrendered one battalion each of Davin's IR No. 37 and Erbach IR No. 42, a total of 2,000 men and three cannons. Bonaparte sent Guiu to observe the Austrian withdrawal. Results <inaudible> 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 In the battles on 3 and 4 August, the Austrians lost 23 cannons and at least 5,000 killed, wounded and captured. French losses were at least 2,000. More importantly, Kwasdanovich's defeat allowed Bonaparte to mass over 30,000 men against Wormser's 25,000, resulting in a French victory in the Battle of Castiglione on 5 August. This defeat forced Wormser to withdraw to Trento and abandon the campaign. See also Siege of Mantua 1796 to 1797 Battle of Castiglione the 5th of August 1796